What up guys, Hobal VTE. Um, just got done running my second Mugen, 160 miles, nine miles per hour. Super stoked about that. Here's that number again. Um, that wasn't with a new motor because a lot of you know, all week I've been selling a lot of motors and um, just redoing my fleet guys. So right now I pulled motors literally out of boxes that I had old motors to run them and hit 169 with a TP motor. And that goes for all the people out there lately. I've been hearing you. Well, the only reason Jason's pulling 167, 168, 169, 170 miles per hour is because he's using a $500 new motor. No, new motors will run more efficient. Are you going to gain mile per hour? No, that's on you. And no gyro or perfect pass is going to help you. You can hit any number with a TP. You can hit it with a Cordova. You can hit it with a new. It's all on how you use it. Now look, guys. No gyro. I do not believe in them for speed runs. I think if you're going to run a gyro, you should go into drag racing. No, not taking shots at drag racers because you definitely need it on the drag strip. When I was drag racing prepped, uh, I went out with some of the company guys and I absolutely needed it. You can't get down that track without it in my opinion. But for speed running, you don't need it. It's not a necessity. So, I appreciate all the guys that have been buying new motors lately though. Looks like my promoting is helping. Um, I know new's been out forever. Steve New Motors have been out forever, but they got left behind. Uh, everybody started running these TPs and then everybody was running Cordobas and they kind of forgot about new motors. Um, so all the people that's been buying them lately, thank you. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. They're great people over there. Um, they always take care of me, man. They're just super nice people. Uh, even, you know, you would think Steve, he owns the company, big headshot, you know, been has his motors and 200 miles per hour. He's still such a humble, good guy. Uh, Lisa, she's the nicest lady you'll ever meet. Jeff, great tech, just a great all around freaking people. So, um, pulled some motors out of a box and uh, we're gonna see what we can do with them today, guys. I know um, a lot of people have been buying the news lately and I really appreciate it, man. That's cool. That means my promoting is working, so buy them up, gentlemen. Ooh, that bad boy's moving. She was scooting, boy. guys 4s parallel I ran it on 3s parallel it was only 116 or something earlier but I, uh, I had to get out of it and those were the only 3s lipos I had that I had brought with me and they weren't even for this car they were gonna be used for a, a different car the IGT 138 on 4S, not bad. Not bad at all. I think I probably could have gained a couple miles per hour. Very, very, a lot of guys say this, and I think a lot of guys don't know what they're talking about. Oh, I'm, I'm conservative geared. I'm very conservative geared right now. You're just saying that because you didn't uh, pull out of a crazy ass number. Let's be real now. 
You gotta remember, man, we've been in this game for a long time. We've seen all the crap come through. Um, this is a CNHL 6000. I give props where props are due, guys. 138. I can honestly tell you, though, with the 5000 milliamps, I've never, ever, ever been able to pull a good number with them. I just haven't been able to do it, guys. So, 4S on that side. Flip this girl around. Oh, cover up them gearing. For us on that side i see so many posts guys or, or i'm sorry not even post i just see so much everybody always talking about oh i'm so conservatively geared you know i don't have anything going on in here and um and then you come to find out they're telling guys to run negative on their teeth on their gearing and why would you do that if you're conservatively geared you don't need that honestly it makes no sense to me, guys. So, all right, let me get the fans unplugged real quick. Five pack right there. 138 miles per hour. The new five pack, guys. They come in hard case and soft case. Um, XLX1, original one. Let's see here. No gyros plugged in. This is my RX pack, guys. If you don't have one. You want to know how I'm busting these numbers. I stopped running them for a while. I'll be honest with you. Because I was like, you know what? I'm not going to freaking... My batteries aren't going to come unplugged no more. Because I tape them together. That was my big thing. It worked as a fail safe. But then I started watching my BEC and Castle Link. And my BEC was dropping all the time. I started running them again. Now my BEC might drop by 0.1 of a volt. 0.1. Um, by the way, guys, these are Matrix tires. You can get them at RC Target. They just did 140 or 138, no problem. No, nothing wrong with them whatsoever. So I'm going to push this thing a little harder. Um, that was on 4S. What did I just do with those? Oh, here's the two parallel connectors that I just took off. 